need to realise not all hearts are the same. Obviously the hearts are different animals that are in different size. But hearts of different creatures actually function in different ways. The easiest way to do is to have a single pump that moves the blood round in a loop. And this is how the circuitry system of a fish works. The deoxygenated blood returns through the heart through the sinus which controls the heart rate of a fish. The atrium collects the blood and moves it into the ventricle. The ventricle has a thicker, more muscular wall which pumps the blood all around the body. The blood flows out through the bulbous atrius and through the two sets of gills where oxygen is collected. The two flows then circulate around the body and back to the heart. Most reptiles have three chambered hearts. The deoxygenated blood returns through the heart through the sinus venous and right into the right atrium which passes through the single ventricle. However, the ventricle is split into two by the septum. The function of the septum is to keep deoxygenated blood and oxygenated blood moving along different paths. As the ventricle contracts, it pumps deoxygenated blood into the lungs. This returns to the heart through the left atrium and back to the single ventricle. As the ventricle contracts again, the oxygenated blood is pumped out into two different directions around the body. Like reptiles, amphibians have three chambered hearts and the layouts are also similar. Once again, blood is returned to the heart through the right atrium and passed to the ventricle, where it's mixed with blood coming back from the lungs. As the blood leaves the heart, some of it is diverted towards the body and the remainder diverted back into the lungs to pick up more oxygen. Amphibian lungs are not very efficient and oxygen exchange is limited. So the constant increase of this is important. Unlike reptiles, amphibians only have a single root out of their heart. This splits around the body where oxygen is needed. The heart of mammals and birds has two separate sides. The right side collects the deoxygenated blood from the body and through the right atrium which passes through the right ventricle. This pumps a short way to the lungs under limited pressure. The left side of the heart collects the now oxygenated blood from the lungs through the left atrium and into the stronger left ventricle under the great pressure around the body. All parts of the system are very efficient and keeps the body well supplied after a constant stream of oxygen. This allows both animals and birds to have a very active lifestyle. Thanks for watching. Back to the studio.